Oppenheimer's Atomic Bomb Story J. Robert Oppenheimer, born on April 22, 1904, was an American theoretical physicist and is widely regarded as the father of the atomic bomb. His involvement in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II and his subsequent role in the post-war era made him one of the most influential scientists of the 20th century. Oppenheimer grew up in New York City and displayed exceptional academic abilities from a young age. He studied at Harvard University and later at the University of Cambridge, where he conducted research in theoretical physics. Oppenheimer returned to the United States and joined the faculty at the University of California, Berkeley, where he made significant contributions to the field of theoretical physics. During the early 1940s, as World War II raged on, the U.S. government initiated the top-secret Manhattan Project, aimed at developing an atomic bomb. Oppenheimer was selected to lead the scientific research team at Los Alamos, New Mexico, where they would work on the project. He brought together some of the brightest minds in physics, including Enrico Fermi, Hans Bethe, and Richard Feynman, to tackle the immense challenges of creating a working atomic bomb. Under Oppenheimer's guidance, the scientists at Los Alamos made remarkable progress in a relatively short span of time. They successfully built the first atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity, and conducted a successful test on July 16, 1945. In the New Mexico desert, Trinity site, the power of the weapon they had created was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Only a few weeks after the Trinity test, the United States dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945, leading to Japan's surrender and the end of World War II. The destructive power of the atomic bomb raised profound ethical and moral questions, and Oppenheimer himself wrestled with the consequences of his work. In the post-war period, Oppenheimer became an advocate for international control and peaceful use of atomic energy. He played a crucial role in the establishment of the United States Atomic Energy Commission AEC, in 1946, which aimed to oversee nuclear energy and weapons development. However, his political views and associations with left-leaning intellectuals led to suspicions about his loyalty and allegiances during the era of McCarthyism and the Red Scare. Oppenheimer faced scrutiny from the government and was eventually accused of being a security risk. In 1954, a security hearing was held to determine whether his security clearance should be revoked. Despite Oppenheimer's contributions to the nation's atomic weapons program, his past associations and statements raised doubts about his reliability. The hearing resulted in the revocation of his security clearance, marking a significant personal and professional setback for Oppenheimer. Following the security hearing, Oppenheimer's career shifted away from government work. He returned to teaching at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, where he continued his research in theoretical physics. Oppenheimer remained a prominent figure in the scientific community, receiving numerous awards and honors for his contributions to physics. J. Robert Oppenheimer passed away on February 18, 1967, at the age of 62. Despite the controversies surrounding his life and career, his role in the development of the atomic bomb and his subsequent advocacy for international cooperation and peaceful use of nuclear energy continue to shape our understanding of the complex relationship between science, society, and the ethical implications of scientific discovery. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.